Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create and restore from a recovery partition. For this tutorial, I'll be using IOMI One Key Recovery. The link is in the description box. Once you get there, download and install the free program. Once installed, go ahead and run it. Yes to the UAC if prompted. And here, click on One Key System Backup. What this is going to do is create a partition on the C drive for that backup. Make sure to select Backup System to Aomi One Key Recovery Partition if it's not already selected and click on Next. Here, select a partition if you have multiple drives that is big enough to hold that uh, recovery partition. In this case, I only have one drive, so I'll select the default C and click on Start. Now click yes to the warning. All it's saying is that it needs to restart to complete the process. And it'll start creating an, uh, an image of your hard drive into a small partition to recover from that in case you get a virus or you suddenly can boot to your operating system. The process can take a while depending how much information there is to back up. Once the recovery image is done, you can click on yes to this pop-up and it will automatically restart or wait for the countdown to finish. Once you restart, you're going to see this press 11 to boot to the recovery on boot and you'll see this entry also on the boot manager, enter into IOMI. But don't be scared, we can remove this on the settings of the, uh, of the program, but before Let's go to uh, Disk Management and you'll see the newly created partition that contains our image of our current operating system. In case you get a virus or your system suddenly doesn't boot to the OS anymore, we can recover from this partition. I'll show you how. But before, let's edit the messages on boot. So run IOMI and here click on the little gear icon on top and here we can manage our messages on boot we can change the F key if we want now you can also disable show the press 11 for IOMI one key recovery that's a notice you get on boot and you can also disable the uh, enter into a only one key recovery on Windows boot manager those are the two messages which we saw at the beginning if you want you can disable both but leave checked enable the boot menu even though you don't see the press 11 to boot from the recovery you can still press F11 and access the recovery options of IOMI for this tutorial I want the F11 to show on boot now to save settings click OK in case you need to recover from that backup there are a few options say your computer works slow or is sluggish due to a virus and you have access to the program you can run it and here click on one key system recovery now it'll automatically detect that you have created a backup before and all you need to do is click on next or you can manually restore by selecting restore system by selecting a system backup and browse for that partition and selecting the image backup now, say your computer doesn't boot to the operating system. You can press the F11 key on boot, similar to brand name computers, to access the recovery options. Now, that's why I left it there so you can see when I press the F11. And it'll automatically detect the backup. And it'll prompt you if you want to recover from this backup. Here it is. Do you need to restore your system? yes here it automatically detected the image backup you created and it's telling you that the highlighted partitions which is the system partition will be overwritten with that information in short your system will be taken back to the date you created that image backup now click on start restore Once done, click on finish and then close the window. It'll automatically rest restart. 
and your operating system will be back to the date you created that image backup. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.